Hi Leo, welcome to your March 2021 monthly love reading. So this, this uh, reading is going to be from the time this is posted on YouTube until the end of March for you. I've already pulled your Oracle cards, which is the Rumi card sitting right here. I've pulled your first layer of your tarot right here for you. So what we're going to be looking at is how your person feels about you and um, the different situations that you're feeling or facing um, in that relationship. Uh, Leo, person, when I say your person, it could be somebody you're attracted to, somebody you're dating, somebody that you are um, in a relationship with, somebody you're married to. It could be brother, sister, father, mother, um, employer, um, employee. I am a psychic and a medium, so I'm always going to stick with one story and follow it all the way through. This is a love reading. And basically, Leo, anybody that you're in a relationship with, even if it's an employer, we're all connected. So that's the reason why it's still relevant in a love reading. Change the person up to the dynamic that you're seeking um, information on and, um, and it will be appropriate to you. As the reading goes on, if it doesn't make sense to you, that's fine. This is not your reading. And please switch over to another tarot reader that is more, more able to pick up on what, what you need and desire in the reading. I'm going to start off with how your person feels about you. And what we have here is the Queen of Cups. And so what we have here for you, um, Leo, how your person feels about you is there is a lot of love for you. There is a lot of reverence for you and there is a lot of um, just abundance and emotions for you. Spirit, um, can you tell me more about the Queen of Cups for Leo, please? How their person feels about them. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. So how your person feels about you is that there is a future with you. They have a lot of love for you. And um, they have, uh, they desire to have a future with you. So um, that is a very strong start to this reading. Um, next, we have strengths in regards to um, what does your person think is the strength in this relationship with you? And um, the, I need clarity on this because we have the four of cups here. And so... Spirit, can you tell me more about um, what Leo's person feels is a strength uh, with Leo in this relationship? What is a strength? Okay, we have the Four of Cups with the Seven of Wands. Anything else? Seven of Swords. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, this is interesting energy for you. Um, I'm just going to bring this forward here in regards to strength because it looks like, um, Leo, what your person feels is that there is a sense of um, nurturance in this relationship. There's, there's, it feels as if you guys have gone through things and you've been able to overcome them. It feels as if part of the strength is that you um, uh, are able to forgive um, and you are able to uh, tolerate. It feels like your person has a level of growth that's taken place in this relationship. And one of the things that you've been able to do is kind of um, be a, one of the things I value in this relationship is that you have been able to forgive um, as the growth of the relationship has taken place. And you have also, um, you are a forgiving person. So if this is somebody that, Leo, when I say your person, you're just attracted to, they see this trait in you regardless, that you are a forgiving person. Um, you are able to take them as they are. They are imperfect and you are able to understand them and realize that um, that there is a strength in uh, your dynamic. Um, they look up to you, 
Leo. They look up to you in many ways and they have a lot of respect for you. And that is a big strength in this relationship. Next we have, um, with your person, how do they feel about you, is what do they think is the challenge in this relationship with you? Now, um, interesting because regardless of the spectrum of where you are in this relationship, we've got the sun card in reverse. So how they feel right now, the challenge in this relationship is unhappiness. There is something that has brought unhappiness to this dynamic, how they feel about you. So let's take a look at what they're unhappy about in regards to you in this relationship. And I'm just looking at their perspective, okay? You already know how you feel, all right? So I'm not bringing out your perspective in this relationship. I'm talking about just solely how they feel about you. And right now, the challenge is they feel unhappy. Let's take, Spirit, can you tell me more about the sun card in reverse in regards to how Leo's person um, is viewing the challenge and, and why the sun card is in reverse? Two of swords. We have the two of swords in the reverse position. We have the Hermit and we have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, so what they're unhappy about uh, in this relationship with you is um, let's see, we've got the Two of Swords in reverse. So it feels as if um, your person has made a, a decision about this relationship. Um, it seems as if there is, I'm, I'm really drawn to the roomy card right now, which is body and soul come together through song and dance. And so what has happened in this relationship is that the challenge is, is that there has been um, situations that has taken out the momentum of this relationship there was a crossroads in the relationship and a decision was made and um, it's taken out the fun. The fun has, has, the challenge is the fun has gone from this relationship and, or there is a lack of fun in this relationship. There's a lack of coming together in an enjoyable way. And it may be the challenge also, they're, they're unhappy because you've withdrawn. Somebody is withdrawn in this relationship because we've got the hermit card here. And the challenge is your person is unhappy about the decision that was made. There is, there is um, the, the momentum uh, did go out of this relationship and it's a big challenge for your person. They also see that um, what they have to do is nurture the relationship. And that seems to be a challenge for them too. Um, because it may be that they did something to, um, sorry, Leah, that's my dog walking around. He always does this in readings. He's so quiet uh, throughout the whole day. And the minute I turn this bloody camera on, you know, he just has to make himself known. Seven of Pentacles, it feels as if your person um, knows that they need to nurture this relationship, but it feels, uh, it feels like a challenge for them. It feels like they, um, look up to you and it's almost as if they don't feel powerful in this relationship because they don't know how to nurture it. So that's a big challenge in this relationship for them. Okay. And it's, and it's what makes them unhappy. Um, uh, what, you know, you you're it feels like you've withdrawn it feels like a decision was made in this relationship and it feels like they've got to bring it right they've got to nurture it back to life they've got to nurture the connection i'm just gonna put that right here and then we have your what do they hope what is what is the hope in this relationship and we have the um we have the Six of Cups in the reverse position. Spirit, can you tell me about the hope? So it looks like this person is somebody from your past. 
it looks like uh, the hope is, is that you will reconnect with this person. Um, you know, if this is an attraction or this is somebody that is, um, that you're in a relationship with, whatever has brought you two together originally and whatever the vibe was, they, the, their hope is, is that it will come back. Can you tell me more about um, Leo's person and what they hope to achieve in this relationship? Six of Wands in reverse. Um, they want the the spiritual connection to come back. They want this the that they, they re, there is a lack of connection here in this relationship. They're feeling it. I feel like you're feeling it too, and they want it to come back. They, they want it to come back and it just feels like they don't know how to bring it back. The luxuries of this world are a kind of poverty. So it feels as if um, what your person, your person's going through something. Your person has been focused on the wrong thing. And... Um, you know, I said in the beginning that they look up to you and your person is going through this kind of evolution where you have a lot of influence in their life. But because they've been focused on the wrong thing, they may have made some very disastrous decisions in this relationship that has created a wedge between the two of you. And what they're hoping for is for that to um, be rectified in some way and that you will... Um, see them in a different light. Let your beloved be your mirror. And here we have the outcome, right? So we have the Ten of Swords as the outcome. What is the outcome that your person is hoping for? The person, your person, I already have the energy, but let me just go ahead and clarify this um, for you, Leo. Can you tell me more about the outcome in regards to the Ten of Swords? What your person is hoping for is that you understand that they are taking responsibility for the hurt and the pain that they've caused in this relationship um, and the hurt and the pain that they've caused in uh, their lives. They're taking responsibility for they, they, the outcome that they desire is that you understand that there is a side to them that they're working on. And it is so clear here in the death and rebirth card. Your, your person is working on themselves and they're not working on themselves because of you, but you are part of the reason that they're working on themselves because they want this relationship. I got to tell you, it really feels like they want you. Um, what are your person's feelings about you? Look at this. We've got the Queen of Cups. We started off with the Queen of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, right? They look at you as somebody very, very positive in their life, somebody that brings a lot to their life and somebody they want a future with. But this person is struggling. This person is leaving behind um, a way of life that is something that they've always known. So it's not easy. Like for me, when I look at this card and I look at them, your person, your person has gone through traumas. Your person has led a life of survival. Your person has led a life of fear and even fear-based responses and re not responses, but fear-based reactions. And um, they're learning how to move and shift through the power of who you are, Leo, into somebody that they desire to be, but they can't get there by themselves. They can only get there through their North Star, which is you, Queen of Cups. And that's a decision you have to make if you want to be that to somebody. Um, but it does feel like this person, you know, we are all each other's teachers, Leo, and it is your choice if you want to take this on. But it does feel like your person is being committed to the change. But is it a struggle? Yes, it is. You can't take habits of a lifetime and turn them around overnight. And I'm drawn back to what they have to do, which is to nurture the relationship. So it feels as if they need your help in, in um, kind of positive reinforcement, like telling them, you know, you know, uh, 
like they need a lot of emotional support from you in order to be able to change and to grow the relationship but as the relationship matures and as it goes into the direction that you both need to go in this person you know it feels like this person has had to parent themselves and when you are an adult and you've spent your whole life parenting yourself you're not going to get everything right in an intimate relationship when you meet the person that you're in love with. You're not going to, or you want to be with, right? And, and the only way somebody changes is because of love, because there's a very, there's very few reasons why people change in life. And one of them is out of love. They can see what, you know, they, there is something you see in them um, that brings out a potential that no one else has brought out. So this is a bit of a tough situation, Leo, because your person is very committed, but they're going through a lot of change that requires a lot of patience and not everybody will take it on, but it's, but they do have an incredible amount of reverence for you, respect, love. They do see you as somebody that they want to emulate and be like because it's already within them. So I do think that you guys can come together because it's what is desired body and soul come together through song and dance they want a different way of being in their life and you can do that for them so leo i hope that helps um your person is going through a lot and there's nothing like somebody that believes in us to bring us to the next level it does take a special kind of person it does take a special kind of person to tolerate um them slipping up constantly because that's what this feels like it's like it's not going to be like hey i'm never going to and this is what they have got had to learn about themselves is that they have to realize that you know um just because they want to be different it doesn't mean that they can change their mind and suddenly all their behaviors change um but they've got to be able to be transparent about you know when they slip up so for example, let's say, and I'm just, just saying, right? Let's say that your person um, uh, is on the streets, right? And they're, they're, they've led a street life. And so they only know like survival. They only know how to meet their needs by kind of like being in a gang and all of that. I'm just being extreme here. Um, to come out of that gang life and that gang mentality where they've been conditioned for so many years to live a certain way and, and act a certain way and think that everybody is your enemy and it's a doggy dog world out there. When they meet somebody like you and they can and they see, you know, oh, my God, look at Leo, look how beautiful they are. And I really want to be in their life or look how handsome they are. And I want to be the kind of person that does, you know, that is deserving of them they can't change that mindset overnight they're going to fail at it over and over and over again until the the they get it right and so they have got to learn how to be transparent with you and that is something that you can encourage and talk to them about if this is resonating with you that what's going to bring you guys together and bring you guys in harmony and the only way that you can help them um, consciously is if they don't do things behind your back that they've got to be open and honest with you and they've got to learn how to do that so you're going to have to be patient in this process as you help them to transition out of um, being one way for a very long time into being who they are change is a process and when we meet somebody that that makes us want to be a better person it's a beautiful thing leo and so if you love this person as much as they love you then everything anything anything is possible okay leo um i hope that helps and i will catch you next month